Welcome back, people. We just had the most epic defense with naked aquanauts. Naked aquanauts for the win. All right. Uh, just double checking everything. I don't think I even use my Triton at all. So whatever. Um, don't need to do that. We can, however, sell a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> so we'll just go ahead and do that. Do, 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 do. All right. So that, and we're good. Now, let's take a look here. Huh. Okay, that looks about good. We got pretty soon. We're going to be using a lot of our money on our transmission resolvers. Uh, so I was thinking of building a fifth base, but by the time we do that, we're probably not going to have much money anyway. So, because they're very expensive. Bang! Boom! Headshot! All right. Large. Yeah, just another sub. Blah blah blah. I'm sorry if anyone actually wanted me to wants to see all of those subs, but I mean, realistically, it's just fleet supply cruisers over and over again. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I get bored really fast of them. I want to see some good stuff. I want to see some dreadnoughts, and I want to see some alien colonies and stuff like that. Okay, so magnetic iron arm is probably next. And let's go ahead and build our transmission resolver. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Let's see, because when I finish my trans transmission resolver, I can dismantle all my other sonars. Uh, huh. And that's not going to quite connect. This is my own fault. Okay, what we might do is just get rid of this. Oh, bugger. Um, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll get rid of this for now. I mean, we'll just put this here for now and we'll get rid of them later. And last transmission resolver here. So, take a look at that. We've got no cash. Okay, put a barricade here. And... You know what, let's sell more stuff, because I don't like having no cash. Sell some of them, sell some of them. And... Sell some of these. Alright, that's a bit better. Um, and we'll go ahead and make some sonic oscillators for our barricade the other base that's coming in. <clears throat> that looks good. Actually, uh, let's see how many iron armors we have now. Okay, 17, so we may as well just transfer some to our third base. We've got, I think, 10 guards stationed there, so we'll just go ahead and bring 10 over there. It's almost the end of the month. We'll just transfer these sonic oscillators. Bang, bang. And we should probably start manufacturing something else. Yeah, we'll just we'll stick with medicates. For now. We need the monies. Okay, iron armor has arrived. It's great. <clears throat> There's really no need to give anything more than iron armor to your base guards because the de the defense difference is so minor and it's not worth the extra 11 terabyte. <clears throat> huh? Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Um, do these guys have aquanauts? Okay, we'll, we'll put some aquanauts there a bit later. Touchdown, okay, whatever. 
Now I think there's 30 days in May, isn't there? I don't know. We'll, we'll just transfer them anyway. Um, ideally, I wouldn't want to stop my research on such an important thing, but <clears throat> we're running so low on cash, I'm kind of forced to. Now I'm kind of, I'm kind of regretting not doing those uh, fleet supply cruises now. I kind of need the cash. I might go ahead and just do the next one then, the next Gilman one anyway. <clears throat> Oh, that's right, we've still got some scientists left, that's fine. I'll just chuck them on magnetic iron armor. Okay. That's right, I transferred a bit too early. I thought there was 30 days. Looks like there's 31. I should keep like a calendar next to me while I'm playing this game. Okay, so, end of the month, let's transfer them back home. I mean, ideally you want to transfer them right before the end of the month, because as you can see there, I just wasted a full day of research. That probably would have been my uh, magnetic iron armor is done as well, because <clears throat> cause it was like on excellent progress anyway. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. The big deal is the money. So we've got one and a half mil. Let's see how much we have after. Alright, everyone's happy. Excellent rating, blah 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 blah. And more importantly, we finally have our first MC training. Or second, but first real screening. Let's take a look. Lani. Ooh, Lani, 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 91. Ooh la la. Oh. Game Master. Oh, the second, dude. The first one that had to be sacked was because he had low MC strength, and the second one has it as well. You're cursed. You're absolutely cursed. We've got a couple of low ones, but we've got a couple of 80s, a couple of 90s. That's good. That's very good. So, we'll just go ahead and take everyone off MC training. We'll keep the 90 there, actually. And we'll keep the 96 there. That can be our panic guy. Oh! 96, 96. You know what? Let's, let's get rid of the 91. We don't need that many. 96 is better than 91. Don't need to be a mathematician to figure that out. Hmm. Okay, so three remaining. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let, let's let's before we finish our HQ, let's take a look at what we have here first. Okay. Oh, this is very very bad results. I mean, for 30 Aquanauts, we've got 180, 190, 290s, or 280s, 290s. That's 4 out of 30, which we're good. It's unbelievable. So my cutoff point is, I would say, 60. But 60 to 70, they have to have extremely good stats for me to want to keep them. 70 up I'll keep and 90 up is my MC guys now if you read down the bottom in the video description you'll see that I am actually putting restrictions on my mind control uh, whereas I'm not actually allowed to use the mind control however I am allowed to use panic uh, why do I have two left over? did I leave some up here? oh these guys and there's no point leaving these guys in MC training even if they do have high MC strength because I'm going to be transferring them over to my main anyway. Alright. So we'll just go ahead and do that now. This will be a bit tedious for you guys, so I do apologize for that. I have to watch all of this, but it is a very, very important part of, of um, XCOM. Alright, so like I said, 6 out of 70, they have to have extremely good stats. And this guy has extremely good stats. You know what, while we're here, I might just bring up my list of, uh, sorry, just bear with me one second, 
do 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 aquanauts. Okay, here we go. Okay, my list of subscribers who um, have proved themselves worthy of becoming my aquanauts. So this guy's got low MC strength, so I'll just keep him as average. Um, 85. Okay, he's, he's still pretty average. And his accuracy is low. But you know what, actually? His accuracy is low, but he's got good everything else. Um, especially bravery. Alright, whatever. You're becoming Chesda. Thank you, Chesda, for subscribing. And what do we have here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, that guy was something. Uh, we sell him. Okay, so 60 to 70 has to be excellent. He's, he's not bad. We'll keep him. So, hmm, strength is low. But this guy can be. Hmm. Yeah, let's just make him my infantry. Actually, you know, you know what? His accuracy is really high. Okay, whatever. Sarge. Dohan. Dohan. Welcome aboard to the XCOM. So are you. Now this guy is pretty good. Alright. Uh, T P S O L I D I O U S. Hold on, buddy. See you later. Whoa. This is. The best, one of the best of the best. Um, all right, I think I saw before Game Master. Where is he? Yeah, he was doing really bad. Uh, let's take a look at the other guys. Anyone else needs to be reincarnated? Yeah, you're gonna need to be reincarnated, phenomenon, and. Commando. Whoa! Amazing dude. Well done. Alright, so that was Phenomenon and Game Master the third. <laughs> At least this time we know that he's good. Sorry, I don't know if I spot that wrong. And you can die in a fire. Hey, this guy's good. So, uh, I don't know how to spell your name right, dude, but that's the best I can do. That's amazing stats, though. Jeez, look at that. 60 firing accuracy. I think that's actually the max you can get for starting Aquanaut. It's certainly max bravery. 60 is the max. And 60 is the max of time unit, so he's almost the max there. It's absolutely amazing stats <clears throat> okay yeah he's good enough just average just missed the benchmark Jeez, this is a really, really bad haul. This guy's pretty good, actually. I mean, MC strength, just a bit low, but we hit our benchmark, but the stats are just amazing. Zero MC strength. Go back to your, go back home to your mommy. All right. Oh, now I remember what I had to do. Where are you? Hmm. 
you're actually the third, aren't you? And phenomenon, where are you? There you go. You're actually my second. Guys, I'm not going to give you any more than three lives. Sorry, but life just doesn't work well like that. This doesn't work like that. Just double checking a few things. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. So we just go sell all our little at signs. Do, do, do. And we'll transfer all our good guys over to our main base. And this is when my soldiers really, my good soldiers really start kicking in. Oh, great. Uh, no free accommodation. Huh. That is not good. Oh, we should probably just fire some people here first, shouldn't we? Okay, let's do that. And then we'll have enough free accommodation. Oh, Peter, you have such good stats. That's a shame. That is a shame. And he's a commander as well. He's selling off our commander. You know what? You know what? Let's send him over to our base defense instead. We'll do that later. So, okay, Peter. Okay, that's just too. That's just inexcusable. 18 is just stupid. Oh, look at that. She's been with me since the beginning. Can you believe that? Look at that. This is the difference between a mediocre soldier and the best. One of the best. It's amazing. 70 accuracy. With a cannon, that's going to be like over 100%, I think. It's nuts. And look at the health as well. I think that's mainly because she's been injured a few times. So once they get wounded and, and they survive, and then they recover, I think it actually goes up. Now, that's one of the good things about playing um, hardcore mode. Well, Iron Man mode, sorry. This is another one that's been with me since the beginning. Good stuff. Oh, is my captain as well? This is me. I am the captain. That kind of makes sense. Jigglypuff. Not, no surprise here. I mean, it's Jigglypuff. It's a psychic Pokemon. I think. Are they? I don't know. I know they can put you to sleep, so I just assume that they're psychic. I don't know. If someone wants to confirm that, some Pokemon, Pokemon Master. I have a subscriber called Pokemon. If you can confirm that for me. If you're still watching. Oh, Anthony. Sorry, buddy. I forgot to reincarnate you as well. Samuel Harrison. Samuel L. Jackson. I kind of like that name a bit better. Wow. Okay. This is going to be our MC guy. We're going to have a total of three MCs for Panic, eventually. But since we don't actually have any of that yet, the MC Disruptor yet, um, yeah, we'll just keep him. Yeah, we'll just make sure we keep our MC guys nice and safe, well away from everyone. Because they, these guys you really have to protect. Because you saw just then, I mean, I screened... 50 Aquanauts just then, across two bases, and you, know, you saw how little of them had. I mean, obviously there's a bit of there's a lot of luck involved, but you just saw yourself how how hard it is to get those really strong, sturdy guys. Yeah. Okay. So usually around this time, start of the month, they'll they'll start attacking things at the very first day. So unfortunately, we don't have enough time to actually transfer all our guys over. So we'll just go and just bring some randoms with us. Don't have much choice.
We did have another 96 as well, didn't we? We should probably check who that is first before I do that. Uh, where is he? There we go, Commando. Okay, you're on my, on my control. And we'll use the other guy from the second base when they transfer over eventually. Speaking of which, we should probably do. Okay, so the rest of the guys will be getting screened. We'll go ahead, probably don't have to do it any more than one more month. So we'll go ahead and hire another 30 here. And we'll hire another, uh, I'd say about 15 should be enough. Oh, great. Whatever. We need another living quarters here soon. Uh, let's take a look. Can we dismantle anything? I won't need my sonars soon, but I shouldn't get rid of them just yet. Let's just live with it. Okay, let's deal with it. Alright. Let me just double check everything one more time, because I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, we don't need our disruptor pulse launcher. Okay, good thing I checked that. Bring another cannon on. <clears throat> the only reason why I take it off is obviously because you can't use the DPL on land. As much as I would love to give it a whiz. Alright. Two part terror mission. I'm actually uh, officially ready for Tassith now, so I don't mind facing them. Plus, I wouldn't mind a live Tassith. Um, right, you know what? I cannot be bothered re equipping all my guys, except for Lani. Lani and Jason. They're like my two best guys, so I won't bring them out. But for everyone else, if they get stuck with the thermal shock launcher at the start, then they are the ones who are going out the front. And not my MC guys either. Yeah, 36 strength. That's that's good enough. Let's do that. I'll drop one of your grenades and it should be okay. Do I not have enough... Um, Stun bomb ammo thing. Let's take a look. Arbor blade. Arbor blade. Okay, I think that looks about right. Alright. Oh, this one again. How boring. Alright, we'll um, finish up this video here. And let's see what we're up against in the next video.